to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. This is one of Bhopal's most historic buildings. The Taj Mahal, situated in the old city Shah Jahanabad area. Unlike the one in Agra, this Taj is not a tomb. It was the grand palace of Nawab Shah Jahan Begum, who was as passionate about architecture as the Mughal emperor with whom she shared her name. Despite being one of the largest palaces of its time in India, few even know of its existence. The princely state of Bhopal was known for the rule of its Nawab Begums, female rulers who ruled the kingdom in their own right. The Bhopal state was founded by Dost Muhammad Khan, an Afghan adventurer in 1707, following the collapse of the Mughal power. In 1819, 18-year-old Kutsia Begum took over the administration of the kingdom on behalf of her daughter Nawab Sikandar Begum when her husband was killed in a freak accident. Kutsia Begum and Sikandar Begum ruled from Gohar Mahal in Bhopal. Nawab Shah Jahan Begum built a vast mini city called Shah Jahanabad with a new palace for herself called Taj Mahal and a grand mosque next to it called the Taj Ul Masjid. Kutsia Begum's granddaughter Nawab Shah Jahan Begum took over the reins of power in 1868. She modernized the kingdom's administration, raised its revenues and introduced railways. The increased wealth of Bhopal enabled her to indulge in her greatest passion, her love for architecture. The huge palace took 13 years to complete from 1871 to 1884. It was one of the largest palaces of its time in India. Following its completion in 1884, the Begum was so happy that she ordered a three-year-long celebration called the jashn e taj Mahal to commemorate this event. The architect of Taj Mahal has British, French, Mughal, Arabic and Hindu influences. It contains 120 rooms, a Shish Mahal and a Savan Bhado Pavilion which is an elaborate fountain-like structure that simulated the effect of rain. The palace was kept cool by the winds blowing in from Bhopal's lakes. The main entrance is a seven-storied structure with an imposing gateway. Ironically, the construction of the palace also coincided with the most turbulent period in Nawab Shah Jahan Begum's life. Her first husband had died in 1867 and she had a daughter, Sultan Jaha Begum, from him. She was the heiress of the throne. In 1871, just as she began the construction of Taj Mahal, Shah Jaha Begum married again. Her husband was the controversial Islamic scholar Siddiqui Hassan Khan. Siddiqui Hassan Khan was notorious for his fanatical Islamic views and for his support of Wahhabism, the puritanical form of Islam. Siddiqui Hassan Khan soon took over the reins of power and Shah Jahan Begum was reduced to becoming just a puppet. Bhopal's tolerant culture was replaced by Siddiqui Hassan Khan's fanatical views regarding the Sufis, Shias and Hindus. His power was vehemently opposed by the heiress Shah Jahan Begum, the Bhopali elite and the British. The Taj Mahal Palace became a hotbed of intrigue and conspiracy. Finally, Siddiqui Hassan Khan was deposed by the British in 1885 and he died five years later. Shah Jahan Begum too died of cancer and was succeeded by her daughter in 1901. Bhopal's new ruler, Sultan Jahan Begum, hated the Taj Mahal Palace as she associated it with her mother, Siddiqui Hassan Khan, and some of the most painful memories of her life. She moved to a new palace 
called Kesari Sultani or the Ahmedabad Palace in Koi Fiza and the Taj Mahal Palace was abandoned. Over time, this place deteriorated badly and few years back was declared a dangerous structure. Thankfully, some work has been done to restore the palace. Hopefully, this Taj Mahal of Bhopal will one day regain its splendor.